Next, let's work with data in our query. You enter and edit data in a query data sheet the same way you do a table data sheet. Because all data is stored in your tables, any edits you make to data in the query data sheet are actually stored in the underlying tables that are connected and are automatically updated in all the views of the data in other queries, forms, and reports. Now let's make some changes here so that you can see how this works. I'm going to double click Stanley in the tour name field and I'm going to change it to Breeze. So I'm going to find Stanley. I'll double click on Stanley and we'll type Breeze. And then I'll click off of it. And you'll notice that it changed both instances of Stanley. Next I want to change the city for Golden Footsteps to Kissimmee instead of Orlando. So I'm going to double click on Orlando and I'll type in the Kissimmee and click off of it. And you'll notice that it changed everything. Next, I want to click the record selector button. That would be this one. <clears throat> In the left of the first record, now I'm going to click the home tab if it's not already selected and I want to delete this record. So I'm going to select delete and it says I'm about to delete one record and I'm going to say yes, that's really what I want to do. Next, I'm going to right click and close out this query because I'm finished with it. And it's that simple to make changes inside your query. Now let's use Query Design View. You use Query Design View to add, delete, or move the fields in an existing query. You can use it to specify sort orders or to add criteria to limit the number of records shown in the resulting data sheet. You can also use Query Design View to create a new query from scratch. Query Design View presents the fields you can use for that query in small windows called Field List. If you use the fields of two or more related tables in the query, the relationship between two tables is displayed with a join line or a link line identifying which fields are used to establish the relationship. Let's get started. Let's double click here where it says Tours by State. And you'll notice it brings up the Tours by State data sheet. I'm going to change my view here in this area to Design View. And you'll see the criteria that it's looking for. Currently we're pulling in State Name, Tour Name, Tour State Date, and Price. I want to select all those that are in Florida. So under the State Name and Criteria, I'm going to type in Florida. Then I'm going to come back to my view and change it to the data sheet view. You'll notice it only pulls in the Florida state names with the tour names, tour dates, and the prices for those. Next, I can click File. I can click Save As. You may or may not see a Save As button when you go to save your file or your data sheet. What you can do from this screen is we're going to click on the source definition and at that time you do see the option for save as. You can save database as or save object as. I'm going to click save object as. Then I'm going to click save as and I'm going to call this one Florida Tours. So Florida Tours and I'm saving it as a query. So then I click OK and that is how you create a, and save a new query.